Hey, what's up, YouTube? Drotha here. So today I have a couple things to go over. Again, I feel like I've been constantly having things to talk about with this character. It's actually really cool. There's so many things to test out, and I honestly feel like even if PUB was updated, this level would still be pretty hard to PUB. And I actually enjoy like just playing the game and actually learning things in the game. To be honest, I kind of prefer this over PUBing things even. It's just a lot more interesting to like to explore different skills and to see what works and what doesn't work versus just looking at numbers in a spreadsheet, basically. But anyways, let's get into it. So what has changed today? I have been testing GMP versus Greater Volley. GMP is interesting. The threat is really bad if you're at range, but if you go under the boss and you sit there and you put your cursor over your character, you can actually overlap all the cost errors, basically. So if you're quite tanky and you can face tank everything, it might be worth switching to GMP. At least visually, it seems like all of the projectiles overlap. Theoretically, this should be a good thing. To be honest, my AoE is so high, I didn't really feel like a huge difference with this versus Greater Volley. But I imagine if your AoE isn't as insane as mine, it might be worth trying out if you're tanky enough. I'd recommend not doing this though if you're not tanky. Because if you have to run away, the spread's going to be really unpredictable. And it'll probably be a lot worse than average. This is something to keep in mind, and I honestly would recommend you just test it out yourself. See if you enjoy the playstyle. Large Threat of Hope at Ranger. So I haven't put this in PvP, but there is actually a really good Threat of Hope for this character. Basically it saves a bunch of attack speed points, which aren't terrible. They feel good to use, but they aren't really like that insane. I'll show you guys quickly in PvP what I mean. So this would save you points here. Save you Pierce Nerds. Save you more attack speed over here. Attack speed here. Save you some suppression here, though. The move speed's nice, so I'm not sure if I would do that or not. But basically, you save a ton of points getting... You get Piercing Shots, you get Multi-Shot, you get Master Fletcher. You even get Primal Force, which actually works for a build. And one with Nature. And Acid of the Eel. So, like, there's so many, like, really, really good points. You may even take Perfectionist. Basically, um, if you have access to a large set of hope, I would probably recommend getting it. It's really nice. Um, the reason I haven't gotten it myself is I actually haven't seen one pop up on Hardcore Trade yet. Might have to divine one myself or just farm it myself, but yeah, you should keep an eye out for that. The gems. So I, you might be asking me why I'm using like five different gems in the PUB. I've been testing out new gems and the different mana forge steps to see what feels the best. And I have to say, I think I found a winner. Lightning Arrow, unsurprisingly, feels really, really good for clear speed. I put Lightning Arrow in with even just... We just have a six link here with three Mana Forge arrows. And this feels a lot better for mapping. Just having Lightning Arrow there, it's really noticeable in terms of close speed. Lightning Arrow just hits so many targets now, it's really, really good. We have so much AoE, and we have so much extra proj. We don't really even need to link it to anything. Um, I think eventually maybe you link Stormrain by itself in a four link, and you just have Lightning Arrow and Scourge Arrow in the six link, and that would be pretty good for mapping. I think Stormrain still does more single target, but it's definitely pretty nice to have that for clear. Um, I have been r sometimes running no gems in my boots. Like I said before, I mentioned the move speed. I've been running Magi occasionally just to have 31 move speed. Um, but I've been testing Blast right now as well. Not quite sure if this is good or not yet, but it's something to keep an eye out on. You probably also test out Trainer Shot. I test it out a little bit. Honestly, I'm not sure exactly what the setup is. All I know is Lightning Arrow is, feels really good. And to be honest, this is pretty much everything I want to talk about today. Not too much has changed. Uh, I've just been messing around with gyms. Uh, yeah, I'll keep updating you guys. And of course, at the very end, I will make a full build guide with all my uh, thoughts in like one video and how to play the character in general. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.